This year, Elementor had an update in 3.21 that removed the option for us to turn on and off Elementor notes. Now, Elementor notes is a very useful tool when it comes to collaborations and gathering feedback from our clients, but this is a tool that is rarely used inside the web building process and most people I talk to never even use notes. So it doesn't really make sense to always have it activated for a couple of reasons. First one, it loads unnecessary files onto our website, three of them actually. And this contributes to performance. And then also, well, it adds the notes inside of our toolbar, which can clutter up the UI. So I'm gonna show you how to remove notes from your toolbar and to prevent the files from being loaded. Let's check it out. The first step is to disable the code from loading there are two options that i want to share one is a free option that is going to be this one right here asset cleanup the second is going to be a paid option and that is going to be for perf matters both of these plugins are optimization companion plugins to something like Lightspeed or something like WP Rocket because they could do a lot more. They have the ability to prevent certain code files that we choose from loading. It's a way to take optimization to the next level. To get Acid Cleanup, you're going to go right back over here. Just put in Acid Cleanup. Oops and then scroll down and this is the one you want to find right here i'm going to go ahead and activate it let's go over to the settings and then from here let's go to css and js manager up here you're going to leave it on home page and then we're going to scroll down and first you see elementor so this is going to show you all of the files inside Elementor that are being loaded. Now we could unload, which means it's gonna block them from being loaded, uh, any file that we want. We're not gonna to touch this though. We're gonna scroll all the way down to Elementor Pro since Elementor Notes is inside the Pro version. All right, here we go. This is what you wanna look for, Elementor Pro, and let's find the Notes file. So here we go. Here's the first one. Here is the second one. And then here is the third one. So there's three files. Now, these files are very small in size. So it's not gonna have like a massive increase in speed, but what it is gonna do is, it's gonna prevent three files from loading, which improves your speed scores. Now for these, you're going to select on unload site wide. Do it on all three of them. Go ahead and update it and now, those files are no longer going to be loading. When you run your website through Google PageSpeed Insights, well, you're not going to see this inside of here. Now, let's take a look at one other option, which is going to be Perf Matters, because I think a lot of you out there, especially those who follow my channel, are using Perf Matters already. This is an awesome, awesome plugin. What we're going to do here is let's go over to Tools. Make sure you have script manager turned on. You need to have that. After you have this turned on, go over to any page, really. I'm gonna choose my home page, but you're gonna see the option right here, script manager. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And then same thing, we're gonna look for Elementor Pro, and here are our Pro files. So I'm gonna choose my notes, which are gonna be these three. I'm gonna turn them off. And then I'm gonna select on everywhere. There we go, now we don't have these files loading. I'm gonna go ahead and save them. And that is it for preventing the files from loading. Look it, we're not using notes, so there's no point in having the files load. In fact, part of my optimization process after I build the website is I go through each page, let's say the home page. I don't need contact form snippets running on a home page if there are no contact forms on the home page. Now, all we need to do is remove the notes from the UI. To do this, go over to whatever code plugin that you are using. It could be Code Snippets, WP Code Box. For this, I'm gonna use Fluent Snippets. Again, it's another free plugin. And then from here, we're gonna create a CSS snippet. So I already have one created. It's just this little snippet right here, and all we're doing is hiding it. We don't need, we don't need to do anything super complicated uh, to hide it from the UI because files aren't being loaded already. Uh, so just take this, 
I got a link inside the description to a blog post with this CSS snippet so you could copy and paste it, put it inside your CSS and go ahead and activate it. And let's take a look at the front end. Now it is gone. We have the notes gone, but real quick, we do see this asset cleanup here. The whole point of removing it is to clean up the UI. So let me go over here to assets cleanup here underneath plugin usage preferences. I'm going to scroll down and I am going to choose this option to hide it in the menus. That way I could clean up my UI. Any chance I get to you know, remove any of the clutter, clean up the UI, I always take it. I always want a clean toolbar up here and a clean sidebar because as we build sites, things start to get added on there. And that is it, we are good to go. There's a link inside the description that'll take you to a blog post with the CSS along with steps to help you out. I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, then you know that good YouTube stuff, like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support and I'll be back again soon with more Tuts. Thank you for watching.